Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question greatest common divisor of strings. Okay, this is just English test. So from description and the examples, we understand like this question requires finding the longest string S that satisfies these conditions for given strings, string 1 and string 2. So first condition is X can be repeated to construct string 1. And the second, uh, second condition is X can be repeated to construct string 2. For example, string 1 is like A, B, C, and string 2 is like A, B, C, A, B, C. So this is a valid example. So invalid case should be like A, B, and A, B, C, A, B, C. So this is an invalid example. So question is, how do we check if the character structures are the same? It's simple. Just create a string 1 plus string 2 and a string 2 plus string 1. Okay, I created a string 1 plus string 2 and a string 2 plus string 1. So first case is valid case. So ABC from string 1 plus ABC, ABC from string 2. And uh, ABC, ABC from string 2 plus ABC from string 1. So they are same, right? So that's why uh, this is a valid case. And the second case is invalid. So AB from string 1 and the ABC, ABC from string 2. On the other hand, so ABC, ABC from string 2 and uh, AB from string 1. So they are different, right? So in the second example, we should return empty string. Yeah, so let's continue with valid example. Okay, when multiple strings are given, Determining whether they share a common repeated pattern requires identifying the length of repeating pattern for each string. So for example, so string 1, so repeating pattern is A, B, C. So this is a length 3, right? And uh, string 2, so repeating pattern is also A, B, C. So length is 3. And uh, this string 1, so repeating pattern is AB, so length 2, and uh, string 2, so repeating pattern is AB, and uh, length 2. In valid case, the length of common repeating pattern X must divide both lengths of string 1 and uh, length of string 2. Furthermore, since we need to return the largest string we must return the string with the maximum length that divides both strings, which corresponding to the greatest common divisor of their strings. So for example, we have length 6 and uh, length 3, right? So let's call Z, C, D, and 6 and 3. So that is 3, right? So that means ABC, length of ABC. And the uh, second example, so greatest common divisor should be length 6 versus length 4, 6 and 4. So that is 2, right? So these two comes from length of AB. Okay, let me summarize the important points. First point is we have to divide both lengths of the two strings with X. And the second important point is we have to return the largest string x. So from these points, we notice that we should use GCD. And the most efficient and widely used method for finding the greatest common divisor is probably Euclid's algorithm. So let me write down Euclid. I think this is correct. And uh, but. Uh, if I explain the Euclid's algorithm, so this video will be longer and longer. So let me skip it. So instead of my explanation, I put the Wikipedia in the description below, so you can check later. And uh, you can see the Euclid algorithm in the solution code. Yeah, so let's write the code. Okay, let's write the code. First of all, if string 1 plus string 2 is not equal string 2 plus string 1. In that case, just return empty string. If not the case, so this is a valid case. 
So um, return string one and uh, column. So let's call GCT function. So I write the GCT function later and uh, passing the length of string one and uh, length of string two. And uh, let's implement a GCD function. So this is a Euclid algorithm. So def GCD and uh, length one and uh, length two. And uh, while length two exists, I mean not zero, in the case length one and length two equal length one should be length two and uh, length two should be length one divide length two and I get the remainder and then after that um, just return length one yeah actually that's it yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of m plus n where m is a length of string one and n is a length of string two and the space is also order of m plus n. And uh, we use Euclid's algorithm. And uh, if you don't know the algorithm, maybe you cannot come up with solution in the real interview. So let me explain the, uh, another solution without the Euclid's algorithm. Okay, in the second solution, we use this if statement and uh, this return. So we only change GCD function, but the arguments are same, length one and length two. Let's say we have AB, 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 and AB, AB. So in that case, first of all, we take a shorter length of the two strings. Why? Because we want to return GCD number. So in this case, first string is six, and the second string is four. So that's why five and six cannot be GCD number, right? So that's why we can start from uh, length, uh, length four. So first of all, Let's take min value equal min and uh, length one and uh, length two. And after that, we start looping and uh, decrement one by one towards zero. So for i in range and uh, min value and uh, towards zero and uh, decrement minus one. So in the for loop, uh, so do you remember uh, the condition of uh, GCD number? I mean x. So x, first condition is x must divide length of one and the length of two, right? And the second condition is x must be like a largest number, largest string. And uh, luckily we start from largest number, right? Possible largest number. So that means we don't have to care about the second condition. We only care about the first condition in the for loop. And uh, in the solution code, if length one divide current number equal zero, and uh, length two divide current number equal zero. In the case, we should return current number. So this if statement is about a condition one. So uh, x number, in this case i, so x must divide length one and length two. And uh, if not the case, just return one. Actually, that's it. So let's check. So we start from four. And uh, length one is six. So six divide four equals zero. It's not. So that's why we move next towards zero. And the next number is three. So 6 divide 3 equals 0, that's true. And uh, length 2 is 4. 4 divide 3 equals 0, it's not. That's why move next. And uh, next number is 2. So length 1 is 6 divide 2 equals 0, that's true. And uh, length 2 is 4. So 4 divide 2 equals 0, that's true. That's why in this case we should return 2. And then, so this GCD function will get two. So that's why string one is AB, AB, AB. And uh, we will get 
index 0 and index 1, right? So that's why AB. So that's why we can return AB in this case. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be, uh, I think, the same as solution 1, order of m plus n. And the space also order of m plus n. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with the actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.